So I wanted to talk about a stock that rose almost 94% today. This stock being Owens & Minor. If you are not familiar with who they are, they are a giant solutions company. They operate in two segments. The first one being their global solutions and the second one being their global products. The global solutions segment, they offer products and services to healthcare providers and manufacturers. They provide them with a lot of their branded medical and surgical supplies. This segment also offers services to the healthcare providers which include supplier management, analytics, inventory management, and clinical supply management, and a lot of other various programs to provide logistics and marketing solutions to their suppliers. Now their global product segment are responsible for manufacturing and sourcing medical surgical products that are fighting infections. A lot of these products include sterilization wraps, surgical drapes and gowns, facial protection products, protective apparel, medical exam gloves, custom and minor procedure kits, and other medical products. So you can see how well positioned this company is in a time where everyone needed them. They were here to provide. In early March, when the virus was beginning to accelerate, many healthcare providers were worried on personal protective equipment shortages. Even the FDA recognized that there was going to be an outpace on the demand for the supply of PPE. In late March, the CEO came on in an interview and put it into perspective. He talked about how a hospital in New York traditionally uses roughly between 10,000 and 20,000 masks per week, and they saw a huge influx of demand, up to 200,000 to 300,000 masks per week. And that was just one hospital in New York. You take that and you multiply that through the entire U.S., that's a lot of revenue. In order for them to meet all of this demand, they had to start ramping up production of PPE, and all the personal protective equipment they make are produced here in the United States. They had to run these facilities 24 hours a day. By also adding four shifts a day, they were able to increase increase their production of masks to roughly 40 to 50 million masks a month. This company really stepped up and are probably the reason why a lot of lives were saved. Okay, so why exactly did the stock reach almost 100% today? The huge jump was due to them providing preliminary second quarter update that was much better than expected. The company expects to report adjusted earnings per share of 18 cents to 20 in the second quarter, and the average analyst estimated an adjusted net loss of 3 cents per share. The company also revised their full year outlook of adjusted earnings to a range of a dollar to a dollar point 20 cents per share, up from their previous guidance of adjusted earnings between 50 cents to 60 cents per share. Owens and Miner are very confident. They anticipate a really strong second quarter. They really did benefit from increasing their manufacturing output in response to the high demand for personal protective equipment. They also had a faster rebound in volumes of elective procedures. This should translate to higher sales for many products in the company's catalog and they are scheduled to announce their final quarter two results on August 4th. I think it's going to be interesting to see how the price action moves on the stocks going into the second quarter earnings. Seeing this gigantic move today makes me question how stable this price is at these levels. I think if you got in really early on this stock, you are really, really lucky right now. As amazing as this company is, if you are thinking about buying at these levels, the company could report amazing quarter two results and the stock could still sell off. That's just how the stock market works. You can't really predict how it's going to move. So I would say just to be very, very careful. That's all I have for this stock. Thanks for listening.